Hey, it's Jerry from Rock the Walls. Just want to bring you a quick tutorial and maybe an update or two. This is a Les Paul. We'll slowly pan up. Les Paul 100. And it was, you think this looks bad? It was worse when I bought it. Uh, came up on my timeline. I bought it nine years ago at a pawn shop in Cocoa Beach, Florida. And funny story, he wanted like $200. And I said, it's not worth $200. He goes, okay, give me $180. I said, look, dude, this is not a TV show. This is not Pawn Stars. I'll give you $125 as is. And he laughed. He goes, make it $150 and I'll throw in a set of strings. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. And he did. Uh, it was in really rough shape. Cleaning. Uh, there's still some stuff. Nine years later, I still like this guitar. It's a great guitar, especially if you're just starting out. But I'm going to show you some things, and there will be a part two. Why do I have painter's tape? Well, this is frog tape. You can use 3M. Do not use just regular uh, masking tape. Too much residue. I'm getting ready to change the strings on this, and then when I do it, I'm gonna do some deep cleaning into the pockets of the uh, pickups, to the bridge or saddle, and to all this, scrub it really good. And then we'll lemon oil all of this, put the strings back on. I've already uh, done the what is known as the action or the truss rod. It's been adjusted. Underneath here, you take the screws off and there is a truss rod that you can, with a hex key or Allen wrench, you can adjust the tension and that will adjust the uh, tension on the bridge uh, for the guitar. This is just some basic, basic stuff. If you don't know how to do this, uh, contact a local guitar shop. There's luthiers all over the place. And this is just little steps that we're taking. By the way, us, if you're wondering, what's the deal with the yoga blocks? Well, let me move a little slower. These I actually like because I can raise this up, it's soft, It'll work on a bass, it'll work on a guitar, work on pretty much anything. I can lift this up and I will a little bit later when I start doing some cleaning. Keeps it up off of here. And a store called Five Below that I'm sure some of you are familiar with. And this is just a $5 yoga mat. I lay it out on the table, try to keep everything as scratch free as possible. Guys, I'll be back in just a little bit and we'll see what's happening next.